everyone, and welcome to the final day of our inaugural Pwn to Own Automotive 2024. I'm Dustin Childs, Head of Threader Awareness with Trend Micro Zero Day Initiative. And with me is Brian Gorns, who's the VP of Threat Intelligence from ZDI. Uh, Brian, how are we doing? Uh, I'm exhausted right now, but it's been a wild three days here in Tokyo. We've had a lot of fun trying to hack different cars and different EV systems. Uh, it's been exhausting, but a lot of fun. Yes, indeed, a lot of hard work, but very rewarding. Shall we just say the total first Let's and get go right for to it? it. Okay, here's how much we awarded. You ready? A big number. Hang on. One million three hundred twenty-three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. That's over one hundred ninety-six million yen. That's, that's a lot a, of money. That's a lot of sushi, man. A lot of sushi, that's but I think, I think we could handle it. Oh yeah, I think we could handle it. But it's been an amazing three days. Our first day, we saw the Tesla hack with the modem. And that was pretty cool. That was like over the cell systems, right? Yeah, that's correct. We actually had to have it inside of an RF enclosure here in the venue so that, you know, we wouldn't be spreading the exploit all over the air. Um, but it was, you know, successful at, uh, during the attempt. It took a couple minutes to pull off, but, yeah. you know, Synactiv was able to write flags onto the system and write uh, write their name into the Tesla's logs. And beyond that, they came back the next day and did the infotainment system with the Sandbox Escape, too. Yeah, it was actually really exciting here at the venue. We had a ton of people watching as this attack went on, uh, and Synactiv was able to quickly exploit the uh, infotainment system inside of the Tesla and actually break out of the Sandbox and, get, and, and write files onto the, uh, to the operating system, which was quite exciting. Yeah, and that was really cool to see and very impactful, of course. But I gotta say, there were a couple of really style points, really cool the demonstrations, fun ones, the, fun, the ones. fun ones. And the first one was day two, uh, when uh, the NCC group, the NCC group hacked the Alpine head unit and put a playable version of Doom. Can it run Doom? Yeah. The answer was yes. And I even really noticed that I can't even say it <laughs> yeah, and it was very exciting. I actually got to sit on stage and, and play Doom off of the IVI uh, in front of everybody. Of course, I died right away because I'm not really good at games, but <laughs> it was a lot of fun uh, yeah. to get out there and, and see what they could do. NCC's been in this competition for a long time. Uh, we love having them out here, and they always have really cool, interesting exploits. Yeah, they always do great work, and they know how to bring the style points with it as oh, well. Yeah. I never thought Doom would be a part of Phone Dome, but here we are. Love it. And then uh, today we had another very stylish one, uh, Sina at Synology, Sin Synology. Uh, he took over the Ubiquity, and not only did he play the Rick roll, but he turned on the camera, which is wild because it doesn't ship with the camera enabled. Yeah, it was very cool. Like he had been promising something really interesting for us for that exploit, and he had been in a lot of entries uh, throughout the competition, and this one was successful for him, and we're quite excited that he was able to get code execution, turn on that camera, and do a little bit of Rick roll here in Japan uh, yeah. for all the audience watching. Yes, but uh, note to those doing Rick rolls in the future, not a thing in Japan. Yeah. They had no idea they had what no it idea was. What's going on. <laughs> <laughs> But for those watching stateside, I know they enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, they enjoyed it. But let's talk Master of Pwn as well. And with two uh, Tesla hacks and then all the other hacks, they did $450,000. The team from Synactiv was awarded Master of Pwn. Not their first time, might not be their last time either. They always do great work. Yeah, they, they definitely bring a lot a lot of heat to the competition. As you can tell, we're in a conference, so there's people walking through people our People everywhere, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, Synactive, uh, Synactive brought the heat into the competition, and uh, like they always do, you know, excellent exploits, amazing research, you know, really cool vulnerabilities that you'll be likely hearing about at future conferences. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a lot of fun to see what they bring. Yes, it's been an amazing three days. It's our largest Pwn to Own ever, largest stage ever by far. Yes. Largest production crew, biggest everything in our first ever automotive. Whew. I don't know if we can top it next year, but yeah, we gotta try. Be, it's gonna be tough, but uh, we're gonna be looking at targets right away to figure out what to include in the competition. We're already in discussions with other other automotive manufacturers to bring uh, bring stuff to the competition. So, you know, we'll see what happens next year. Uh, we're definitely gonna be trying to up the ante, make it a little bit harder for everybody, but we know that the, the researchers that participate in Pondo are some of the best in the world, and we're looking forward to seeing what they can bring next year. And that is absolutely a promise. We will be back here at Automotive World next year in 2025. Until then, you got to wait until March in Vancouver, where we return to the originating point of yes. Pwn to Own. Pwn to Own Vancouver, what can we look forward to there? Yeah, this year we're bringing uh, container escapes to the competition. Right. We're also bringing some cloud native applications to the competition. You know, we'll see what people bring. We already have quite a few questions in the mailbox uh, for us to, 
to see uh, you know what, what what could be possible. So you know we'll sit around, we'll, we'll start vetting questions and see what researchers uh, register for the competition, and uh, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, have some really cool demonstrations at that event as well. Yeah, I hope so, and I'm looking forward to it. But until then, uh, this is Dustin Childs signing off one last time from Pondo and Automotive here at Automotive World. For Brian, myself, our partners at Vic One, our partners at Tesla, we want to thank them. And of course, thanking all the competitors who brought such amazing research to us. It's been a crazy event and we love it. We'll see you next year, folks. See you in Vancouver. Bye, everybody.